My name is Warren Mansell. I'm a clinical psychologist and a lecturer at the University of Manchester. And I'm going to talk a bit about when I was younger, um, talk about my interest in nature when I was a boy. Um, basically, for that period, as far as I can remember it, I was fascinated by animals and plants. So I used to go around looking for insects, spotting birds, trying to find like, even wild plants and trees. Um, and I'd try and get them, I'd sort of look up to see what they were, um, sort of classify them. And if it was something like a, you know, a beetle that was really interesting, I might sort of try and capture it and keep it at home for a while. I did that with tadpoles and, and fish and things. Right now, in my job at the moment, I'm a researcher in cognitive therapy, which is a form of, of psychological therapy. So it sounds quite different from um, the sort of the nature I've been describing. But actually, I still use nature as a, an inspiration for my work because I use a theory that's applied across all nature. Uh, it's a theory called perceptual control theory. This theory has a basic premise. What it says is that all behaviours, everything that we do, is an attempt to try to control our own experiences, to try to get our senses to be as, as, as we want them to be. So we try and look and find the things and see what we want to see. We, we try and hear certain things, we try and feel uh, in a certain way. So the idea is our behaviour is always driven by these, these goals for us. I use this, these ideas in my clinical work um, and they guide the questions. What I'm trying to do is trying to find out the key things that the clients that I work with, what they want. Um, because once you, once you manage that, once you sort of simplify all the different behaviours that you see that people are doing, and work out the key things that they want. Um, it really helps you to understand people better. One classic example is people will do all kinds of things to try not to feel anxious. But when you work out that's their goal, you can really progress in therapy, trying to understand their lives and their world and how they're managing it. So going back to nature again, one thing that I do is uh, my wife and I keep two pet rats at home. Uh, one of the rats is called Phoebe and one of the rats is called Remy. Now Remy is an albino rat. She's white, but she's just got pink eyes. Uh, what those pink eyes mean is that she's lacking a pigment in her retina. And that means that she can't see very well, she's got quite poor vision. And actually, Remy's developed a behaviour to try and manage this. Um, she bobs her head from side to side like this, and apparently all albino rats have this behaviour. Now, there's an, actually an explanation for this bobbing behaviour. If you're going to try it for yourself now, and bob your head from side to side, have a look and see how fast things move. What you should find is that things that are nearer to you move faster, and things that are further away from you move more slowly. And this is a phenomenon called the parallax error. is when you do this you actually get much better 3D vision by bobbing your head from side to side. So when you're next out in nature, out in the park or going for a walk in the woods or something, or if you're, if you're looking uh, in a zoo, have a think about the animal that you're watching and think what is it doing, but particularly what is it trying to get out of what it's doing? What is it trying to experience here? What is it like seeing it from the animal's perspective to try and work, that, work out what that behaviour is for. And I will guarantee you that there's nearly always an answer for that question, that there's always something that that animal is trying to experience by doing that behaviour. And I think when we realise that, that actually brings us as humans closer to nature. It helps us to realise that animals are other beings, they've got goals and intentions, and some of those goals they actually share with the rest of us, with, with humans, and I think that is something really powerful to know about our connection with nature.